What's up, everybody? This is A Force of Nature, Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing Saturn and the seventh house. So first, we're going to address what Saturn is all about. Saturn is the planet of limitation. It has to do with restriction, and it is a delayer. Saturn will delay things to you until later on in life, once you have learned some hard, crucial life lessons. Usually, once your Saturn returns after about the age of 28 to 30, this energy will become easier for you. On top of that, this will be the area in your life that you will be able to master. So Saturn in the seventh house, these men and women are going to be able to master this area in their life. But it's going to take time and it's going to be later on in life. So Saturn also is about discipline. It's about structure. It's about order. It's about control. It has to do with your past life and past life karma that you do bring into this lifetime. So let's get into the seventh house. The seventh house is about partnership. It is ruled by Libra and Libra is ruled by Venus. So it is about um, love and beauty and all of those kind of things. But the seventh house in particular has to do with partnership. It has to do with courtship, business dealings. It is the house of business and the lower class people. Okay. A lot of people probably did not know that, but it does have to do with that. But back in the days, the lower class people were really the type of people that um, really were the ones that were um, into business and trading. Okay, traders and things like that was considered to be lower class people years, years, years ago. But today, in this new world, they would be considered the higher class people. All right, so anyway, um, it does have to do with partnerships. It has to do with marriages, business dealings. It also has to do with hidden enemies, people that's out to get you, people that um, are really not out for your best interest. It has to do with contracts and signing off on legal documents. This is the seventh house. So we could get into this right now. Saturn in the seventh house. Men and women. These men and women, um, definitely as far as marriage goes, it can be delayed to them until later on in life. You will marry an older partner or a partner can and will extremely be mature. So definitely if you do not marry or even date somebody that's older than you. Your partner is going to have to be fully equipped and very mature, very seasoned, very experienced. They're going to have to have a lot of experiences up under their belt, a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom in order for these men and women to be able to really um, get down with them on that level. Um, if you do marry early on in life, it could be um, a rocky marriage. It can be a chaotic storm, okay, because a lot of things are going to go on to take place. These men and women are very serious men and women in general, but when it comes to love, they're going to be even more um, intense and serious. They want order. They want structure. They want control, okay, and if they marry early on in life, um, it can be like a heavy burden for them, a heavy responsibility of feeling like they have to um, really step up in many different ways that they might not be ready to do as of yet. Okay, Saturn is in the seventh house, so it's going to take time for them to do that type of shit. You will take your relationship very serious. These men and women are structured and disciplined and they also are hard workers, okay? So these are the type of people that are workaholics, okay? And want things and need things to be in order all the damn time. This is what these men and women are, okay? They can be highly critical of their self and other people, okay? The fields for them definitely would be diplomatic careers, being a lawyer, a judge, into government, or politics, working with steel, an entrepreneur, or even construction. These are the business fields for these men and women that they would definitely excel in if they chose these fields. You can have a blessed marriage after your Saturn has returned. 
Now, this is exactly what they recommend. They recommend that if you get married after your Saturn return, this is going to be where you'll be able to uh, manage your relationships better, be able to understand, and it will not feel as much as a burden than it would if it was early on in life. So, after your Saturn returns, that'll be about the age of 28, 30, but I like to just say between 30 and 35, okay, because that's when you start really seeing the real major shift on um, mastering this house, mastering whatever house anybody has that's in Saturn, okay? But for you specifically, it's going to be the seventh house, okay? So after that age, once you get married around that time, um, your marriage can definitely be very um, pleasant. You can have, um, of course, you're going to have challenges because everybody is, but this will definitely be good for you. And if you marry early on in life, it can definitely end in an absolute divorce, Okay? So, moving along, these men and women can um, love to travel and take trips quite often, can be the type of person who's always on the go. These men and women can be attracted to potential partners who wants to spend a lot of time with them. Saturn in the seventh house will be career orientated and career driven. Okay, so... As I said before, these men and women are workaholics. Um, they are dedicated to their careers. They're dedicated to their jobs and things of that nature. Okay, so definitely their partners may want a lot of their time, but their partners are going to have to understand that they're going to get the time that they're going to get. It's not going to be an all-the-time thing. These men and women are not the type of men and women that are very clean ye as far as that goes, where they feel like they have to be consistently under you all the damn time. No, they have to... Um, tend to their business outside, they have to pay bills and things like that, and these are the things that go on in these men and women minds. Okay, so now, in their past life, these men and women could have had hurt or had a partner in their past life, okay? So they could have hurt their partners in the past life and brought your partner a lot of pain. Your partner can make you feel like no matter what you do is not good enough in this life. So now in their past life, if that wasn't clear enough, in your past life, what went on and took place was that you were in a partnership, you were in a relationship, and um, you really hurt your partner down to the motherfucking core. Your partner um, could have felt like you betrayed them, you lied to them, um, you was full of deceit. Okay, you could have um, even verbally abused them a lot or even whooped their fucking ass. Whatever went on and took place, you definitely did bring your partner a lot of grief and a lot of pain in your previous life, in your past life. Okay, so um, because of that, this is exactly why you are now being presented with Saturn being in the seventh house where um, they... Saturn's going to allow you to be able to reap the rewards of a pleasant relationship, but it is going to be delayed to you until later on in life so that you can fully understand and grasp how this love shit goes, how this um, partnership goes, business dealings go, okay? This is a lesson for you. So now you are being presented with Saturn being in the seventh house to rectify the situation Come to an understanding, and now, once you get to the age of 28, 30, 35, you got the shit down packed, and you learn from it, okay? This is the thing, learning from things that you have done, undoing the things that you keep on damn doing. So, you can feel rejection from a partner, okay? Um, and as I said, because of what happened in your past life, your partner in this life now can definitely make you feel like what you do is not good enough. Okay. No matter what you do, you can feel like it's not good enough to her. It's not good enough for him. And it stems from your past life. And because of this, you can definitely feel rejection from your partner feeling like, um, 
your partner is dismissing you, ignoring you, not listening to you. You can definitely feel like you're not being heard. Even if you are actually being heard, you can definitely feel like you're not. And you could take all of these things as a form of disrespect, as a form of rejection. These men and women can have a partner who is restrictive and limiting. Your partner can be reserved and responsible. A very Saturn characteristic and traits will be embedded in these men and women partners. You can be in a long relationship. Not many committed relationships. Your partner can be beautiful, handsome, and very youthful. If you make an agreement, you tend to stick to the agreement all the way through. You are a loyal person and you can also do very well in um, being a marriage counselor, okay, trading, or even being um, a business person because these men and women do have a business mind. Their mind is geared towards making shit happen, getting that money, getting that paper, getting that bread. They are about those kind of things. And on top of that, um, they do seek out partners that um, hold these same kind of traits as them. And this is why it is difficult for them because they find those partners that are very stern, very serious. Um, all the Saturn characteristics, okay? They Their partners are going to want to have shit in order. Their partners is going to be even demanding, okay? Um, probably telling them, I don't want you to do this. I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to go here. I don't want you to go there. Why you got to go here? Why you got to do it? So their partners could definitely do this from time to time, okay? Their partners may even be the type of partners that like to bring up shit in conversations about um, financial matters and stuff and um, really throw shit, throw stones at them, okay? When shit doesn't get done a certain kind of way or in a certain amount of time. This is what could go on and take place. But um, with this placement, um. Their relationships that they're going to have is going to be rocky ones, okay? It's almost going to be like it's hard for them to ultimately feel love on the highest level um, to the highest extent when they are dealing with um, somebody. They may feel like um, they're giving their all and it's just not enough. I'm doing all I can and you don't appreciate the shit that I do. And um, this can be the cause of many breakups, many full outs. Um, they could be in um, relationships with people that um, now they don't even speak with, they don't even talk to, they don't even want to fuck with. Along with that, that can also go for friends and, um, people that they may have even did business with. They may not even really deal with you like how they used to deal with you because, um, they bring a serious tone to the nature. It's almost like once you cross me, you lost me. And this is what these men and women, this is how they are and this is how they feel. But once their Saturn returns... What's going to happen is the door is now going to be open for them to be able to have more pleasant um, communication as far as in a love relationship. When they are dealing with friends, it can be easier for them when problems do arise for them to um, get over um, what has went on, what has took place. Now, they may not be buddy-buddy with you again like they once was, but they definitely can still probably be like, hey, what up, how you doing, and keep it moving, all right, along with business dealings, okay? If somebody did something in the um, business dealing that crossed them, okay? Not sure if they going to really be saying, hey, how you doing to them, but they definitely would know how to move the next time when they are dealing with somebody as far as business goes. Okay, these men and women do need to um, really, if you have this placement sat in the seventh house, you do need to be cautious, be alert, and be aware that when you are dealing in an intimate relationship, okay, you need to really thoroughly take your time to really pinpoint if this is exactly what you want, okay? The best choice is to um, marry after your Saturn return, and then this will definitely be like... Um, a successful relationship for you it can be a successful relationship even though there's going to still be things that go on and take place that is just life there's no change in that but you will know how to move okay so this is all i'm going to say about this placement for now in future videos to come i will be going into more depth into this placement please be sure to check out my online store it is grimy gear at www.grimygear.com if you need a caterer 
Hit me up. I am the chef goddess also at Supreme Great Al Catering at gmail.com. If you need my husband to do any work to your home, swimming pool, or business, you can hit him up at aronnesbitt90 at gmail.com. If anybody needs a birth chart to be analyzed so that you can fully understand and grasp, that will be $50 for two hours. If you need a synastry chart, that will be $70 for two hours. I do also have um in the about section when you are on my channel you can click on that and see all the other things that i do have because there's several things and i'm not going to run down them all right here because i'm going to forget one so just be sure to hit the about link and you can see everything that's right there so this has been a force of nature spiritual awakening love is love peace and blessings to you all and i will see you on the next one